Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is part of our review of the Rocat Cone Plus High End Mice and this is the Rocat Cone Plus driver software. And uh, here you can change the functionality and adjust the settings on your Rocat Cone Plus that you wouldn't normally otherwise be accessible if you didn't install this software. And here you have the basic options in the main control window. You have the sensitivity option. Uh, you have uh, five steps down and five steps up. You can change that and the vertical scroll you can change you can change it to a either a one page scroll per per uh, movement or you can change the values here up to 10 levels up to 10 you know, that three is a default now these are the default values I didn't change anything yet and the he this is the horizontal tilt speed and a tilt function on the left and right here is also three the default value and here is the DPI switcher now it goes all the way to 6,000 uh, technically, it is only, uh, I'm looking at here at the uh, sensor white paper of this that is used on the uh, Rocat Cone Plus gaming mice. This is the Avego ADNS9500 and it says that resolution only goes all the way to 56, 5670 dpi. So that means that 6000 dpi is interpolated. Now this is not really a big deal since uh, most of the high end gaming mice only really go up to 5600. I mean the high end gaming mice that are in competition with Rocat Cone Plus and 6000 DPI interpolated. It basically, uh, if most people that are playing at 1680 by uh, 1050 or 720p, uh, those resolutions that are under HD resolutions, you might not uh, need a 6000 DPI. But a 6000 DPI will be very useful if you're an Affinity gamer. You have a uh, you have you play in a very large resolution game setting. And uh, here you can adjust it depending on the steps you want to change. For example, I, if you're not going to use up to 6000, you can just uh, limit it to 3200 and change the steps downward. Or if you're not going to use it, the 400, the lowest setting, you can just set that to something higher, like a thousand. And here is also the double click speed you can change. And here you can click here for, for the uh, response. And here at the bottom, you have the game profiles which you can save. Uh, you have create, load, save, and edit the profile. Let's try to create one. Here you can type in a name. You can name it anything, High Tech Legion. And you can uh, even link it to an executable file. Save it. And here you can load if you don't uh, save one. And here is the saving option. See, it remembers the name that we named it and you can edit a profile that you've loaded and here at the bottom you can have up to five slots now i didn't mention it in the unboxing and overview of the rocat cone plus but it actually has 576 kilobytes of memory and 72 megahertz processing power and uh now you're probably wondering why it has that uh, that is because it has, well, of course, the memory can be used for game profiles, for saving macros and game profiles. But uh, you can also, let me just jump here. Let me let me go back to the button assignment and forward control. Go to the advanced control. Here is the tracking control unit and distance control. So this is basically, you can, let me just uh, show you the tracking control unit. Currently, it's off. Let me set it to on. And here... It calibrates the uh, optimizes the, the Cone Plus laser sensor to the mouse pad surface. I have a cloth mouse pad surface. It is silk, and uh, typically the higher uh, uh, laser sensors don't react very well to this surface uh, because uh, most most uh, most of the high-end uh, sensor uh, ADNS 9500 uh, sensors, for example, uh, would react better on a harder surface. So let's try to calibrate it and see how well it improves the um, responsiveness. I'm going to start that. I'm going to just show you how it does the calibration. You can see a surface image there. It takes a, it takes a, it scans the image, uses a laser that is underneath. See there, place, wait, and don't move your mouse while doing this. It only took a few seconds. It's okay. Calibration finished. Press continue button to go on. Now, track control unit calibration is successful. Do you want to keep these settings? Well, okay. Here's a timeout. Left to accept changes. 
and also it has the distance control unit see it's off by default uh, that is one this there's actually first to the z-axis so if you lift for example I'm going to do it right now I am going to lift the mice and eventually if, after a certain level it will uh, stop stop uh, responding it won't move anymore but you can uh, leave it in normal you want to keep these changes uh, see there and low and extra low now I, I actually prefer extra low see it immediately stops and uh, you can leave it let's go back to default values now here's a polling rate you can adjust from 125 all the way to a thousand hertz which is the default and here you also have the sound feedback play a sound when changing one of the following settings profile switch dpi change volume up and sensitivity you see here i think you're this is the uh 3200 dpi there you go it actually talks to you dpi 3200 1600 dpi see now that actually sounds pretty cool but uh, <laughs> if you are the kind of player that does a lot of dpi changes and sensitivity changes and profile switching in the middle of the game might get annoying so uh, it's good that you can disable these or just uh, lower your volume and uh, disable whichever you want whichever sound option you you don't want to use here is the mouse pointer speed now you have enable mouse acceleration and my, my uh, enhanced pointer position I leave it off by default plus we're going to test it with, with the with the uh, enhancement off and the driver reset you can set it to factory defaults and now let's jump back to the button assignment here uh, here is the uh, you, these are the default values for uh, for the uh, macros for the easy shift plus functionality which is the five it's the easy shift plus but if you if you since you if you are if if you're the kind of user that is used to having the uh, the four and number five uh, thumb buttons as the back and forward in your browser you can easily just change it back see the forward is still ie forward you can change it back to ie backward but uh, I, that's actually a good idea to keep it at number five right there and uh, since I, I use the uh, tilt mice functionality for that anyway but it, it's really up to you whenever you want to change and you can save these macros you can record macros here and see let me just uh, create a macro set for creating a new macro Okay, new set. Hmm, let's see. Macro select. Oh, there you go. You can actually here's a drop down where you can uh, pick the game. See uh, if there. Are, uh, these are just a uh, uh, list of games here that are already made for you, like Battlefield Bad Company Two. But for example, the upcoming Battlefield Bad Company Three. And oh, okay, that's the limit of the namings. I can't do space three, so let's see what is the maximum name. Battlefield Bad Company Three. There you go. And I can do start recording. Select new and name in the macro before recording a new macro. Okay. New. Start recording. Okay, and let's try test macro. There we go. Now we can and record delays between key commands. Press key sequence. Switch to advanced editor. Okay, let's. Uh, oh, it actually records the keyboard and not the mice. So that's. Another functionality. I, I'm not. Uh, let, me, uh, let me just note that I'm not using a Rocat keyboard. It's just a regular keyboard. And uh, I wonder if it saves that into the mice memory. Mm, that's interesting. Uh, let's just cancel this for now. Actually, let me just clear that. Delete. Let's see what other Mac, if anything, loaded. Here we go. Here's an example. Uh, you can actually combine the keyboard presses and the mice button now that's that's very interesting and you can also add delays that's a very powerful uh, macro control here provided by your cat driver just shows you a, this for Bioshock 2 let me just see what they have for Counter-Strike here you have a uh, terrorist AK weapon set by 
it's just very basic but uh, the let me just go back to that uh, was a Bioshock 2 uh, that's a very good use of the macro manager you not only the are you limited to the mouse presses you can also use your keyboard shortcuts and uh, of course here is the color control and you can change the let me just uh, show you the okay cone plus LED see here it's uh, pulsating on each side slowly and you can alter the colors here you can select uh, multiple lights it's actually uh, going through the entire set right now so you can see it's moving all the way to the red and resets again there's four LEDs that make up for the lighting uh, panel on this uh, Rocat Cone Plus mice and you can just disable the light completely you select the color for all lights to match if you want to match your uh, case fans or your key gaming keyboard and you adjust the light effect you can have it blinking heartbeat all lights off or breathing well it looks like it's all breathing to me so I'm not sure uh, it's, let's just uh, see that how fast blinking is apply oh there you go here's blinking it might be annoying to some people because it's running pretty fast but let's try heartbeat this will probably be slower than breathing Oh, it's actually faster. It's uh, something in between breathing and uh, blinking. Or you can have it constantly on, fully lighted. And there you go. So yeah, like that. I can just try to keep it on the entire time. And you also have the color flow. You know, all lights simultaneously on. So it will look like a rainbow. Or you can have a flow direction upward, downward, left and right, or no color flow. Here's the all lights on. And you have the effect speed. You can change the flow of the light, lighting speed from slow to fast. That's a very, very advanced LED lighting control. And we've already covered the advanced control section. Here is the update support where you can download the driver. And as you can see, the driver is constantly updated. It's already up to version 1.45. And if you go to the Rocat website, there's actually a, a whole. Uh, entire list there of the previous drivers you can install if you're like a particular old driver but uh, I prefer the newer ones because they're always fixing new uh, bugs uh, rather they're fixing the old bugs with new drivers and here you can just easily click driver download or online access online support from here 